Hi Gemini and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for August 12th through August 16th, 2019. I'm going to start off by pulling a card, um, you know, for the overall energy of what's going on within you or external um, in your reality this week. So Gemini, let's see what comes out. All right, so we have magical powers. I weave and clear, I cast and know, Magic, magic's secrets to me now show. Ooh, ooh, Gemini. This coming out um, for your week, listen, you have kind of like the magic touch this week. Um, extra luck, extra uh, good karma on your side, could have some spirit guides passed on loved ones projecting a lot of energy towards you, um, you know, making some magic and blessings unfold for you. This week, it's just like you've got to really trust yourself, your ideas, your internal promptings, your instincts, um, and believe that you are powerful, like you are a very powerful creator this week, like which you set your intention to. Gemini, I feel like it's like it's going to manifest so be very aware of thoughts and emotions all week long and where you're vibrating because you have like the magic touch this week, uh, really energized to manifest things. Okay, so just keep that in mind because where you're vibing is the experiences that you're aligning yourself to. And this week, it's just like there's something about you where it's like you're extra... Um, Gosh, how do I want to explain this? I, just, I like I'm thinking of like a video game and um, you know I don't really play video games but like I remember when I was a kid like Pac-Man and um, Pac-Man eats the little fruits or whatever and it like makes it super Pac-Man and um, it can move faster and eat the ghost right but without the little fruit Pac-Man's just cruising at a different slower pace and the ghost can actually eat him and so what I feel for you, Gemini, is like you guys have the magic fruit within you this week where you're moving at a much quicker pace, like the way you manifest things, that magic, having the magic touch, like you're super energized, okay? So let's pull um, some oracle cards to gain some more insight about your magical powers. Okay, so we have Oblivion, open your arms. We have um, Fer Fergan, I think that's how you pronounce that. Become a loving mirror. And lastly, we have Solitude, alone but not lonely. Whoo! Gemini, this is like a, a powerful lineup of cards. Um, with this become a loving mirror this is more about you to yourself okay um yeah listen uh, this week you may be better served to kind of be a bit of a loner or recluse not um really allow yourself to get caught up in other people's dramas you know and it's not to say don't be a friend or shoulder to cry on if somebody's really having you know, are they're going through something, but when it's like, you know, that same person that always has drama, always has a bad day, always this, it's like the world is against it, like that type of stuff. I just feel this week, like distance yourself from that as much as you possibly can, because again, it's like you, um, you're really energized, your energy, the, your manifestational ability, and like, it's, so it's very important, like, your, the intention and direction of your energy, your thoughts, and your emotions. And, you know, with solitude, alone but not lonely, um, because you have this, like, just this vibe going on about you, I feel like you're also, like, more sensitive to other people's energies and vibes. And it's like, you know, um, you're trying to hang out with somebody, and it's like they, they don't even need to be, like saying bad things or doing like bad behavior nothing it's just like their vibe is irritating you you're like you know what I was like all hyped up and all this and I came and met you and you know I'm just feeling really drained now and it's not even like you guys had to have a weird negative
negative draining conversation, nothing. It's just like where you're at is in such a different place vibrationally than the people that you are typically around and associate with that I feel it's better for you to kind of be more of um, a lone wolf this week and think about like, you know, yourself and you know, loving yourself and honoring yourself and opening your arms to yourself and your dreams and believing that you are able and capable of achieving and manifesting whatever it is you desire, Gemini, because man, you it, it's just here. It's here for you. So let's pull some tarot dice and gain more insight. Alright, so we have um, the Nine of Pentacles, we have Justice, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Lovers, and lastly we have the Page of Wands. So Gemini, um, this coming out... Um, as your tarot dice for your reading first of all you know um, this could be your energy or, or a fellow Gemini could involve a Libra or a fire sign Aries Leo Sag but yeah this is where you see that seven of swords sitting at the middle of this reading here Gemini that's that drama that's that energy drainer um, you know, and also to take it a step further, anybody who does make you feel bad about yourself or is always like putting you down or you feel like they're in constant competition with you or they're just not very honest, they stab you in the back, like they have ulterior motives, like any of that kind of energy, like you're going to pick up on somebody's vibes and you're just going to be 100% accurate with the justice right there, the scales, like the vibes and intentions that you feel from others, you're you're 100% right and then I feel like that's another reason why you need to be a bit of a lone wolf is because, you know, when somebody's kind of directing shade at you or being fake, it really irritates you and um, to try to call them out on it and they deny it because, you know, the way they're going about it is really kind of sketchy um, and then deny it it's just it's gonna wear you out like you're gonna fight with them like that I know I know what you're doing and they're gonna deny it to the end as much as you know they're doing it is as much as they're gonna deny they're doing it okay so it's like you've really got to pull back from all of that and also some of you um, you know there could be certain people that you really love and care about that they're going through some really heavy stuff and um, it's just it's really affecting you at your core just you know it, it breaks your heart just what's happening to them what they're going through and so again it's like it, not to say don't be there but you need to really make sure you're balancing your energy where you're taking care of yourself and being there for them because it's like you do need some solitude you do need some you know Gemini time with nobody else in your space in your energy at all like I really do see this as like a solitary week and I'm taking this lovers more as your energy or again it's like somebody um, that is really like trying to gossip or be negative with you or it's like they're just they're going through so much and it breaks your heart it breaks your heart like that could play out a few different ways okay um, but with nine of pentacles that's independence and doing better on your own and I feel that's more like you you really need the space and you know for those of you where it's like somebody really screwed you over recently Gemini they're definitely going to get theirs this week there's a, a karmic balance going on and I don't feel like this is just you know happening with you know Gemini's where you're going to sit back and watch somebody get theirs for stabbing you in the back or screwing you over or whatever this is like the energy of all right now um honestly like yesterday and today and I'm talking about you know um Thursday and Friday of the previous week that I'm not recording for um 
it was like such a weird, weird funky energy. And I was like, and not like a bad energy, just a very almost aggressive type of vibes going on um, just out in the public. Like just I picked up on a lot of aggressive vibes and there is a lot of kind of aggressive things happening, um, you know, in the United States right now as well. So I just, Gemini, you're really sensitive to all these energies and you definitely need to be in your own space, have solitude. And if somebody really screwed you over, it's time for you to love you and focus on you and let that go because with the scales there, like, people are getting their karma. Like, there's a big time karma balance going on. It's maybe some astrological alignment. You know, I'm not an astrologer, so I don't know all the alignments of every day, but man, it's like people are getting their karma for the good or the bad. And so, um, you know, I think it's whoever really screwed you over, if that's what's happening here, like you're going to see them get back what they gave you, okay? Um, wow, so look at this is the first card that jumped out. That's Nine of Pentacles. That's going on top of Nine of Pentacles. That's in, wow, okay. <laughs> and Queen of Wands, that goes on top of Justice. There, again, could be that Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. That's who's getting karma. I feel in the negative sense that would be who screwed you over, Gemini, or hurt you, or did you dirty, did you wrong, or hurt somebody that you really care about and did them dirty, did them wrong. Um, yeah, look at this. The two of uh, swords sitting on top of the seven of swords. It's like nobody saw it coming. Like whatever happened, like if this w was, you know, somebody kind of really screwed you over, you didn't really see it coming before, like you didn't, um, just maybe because you trusted them or whatever, or if this is somebody that you care about that's going through all of this, um, they didn't see it coming. Next out is this Knight of Swords, and that's sitting on top of the levers, yeah, this is you, you, Gemini, or um, you and somebody you really care about, like the person you care about really hurting you, um, or them getting very hurt because that's more um, air energy and on this uh, page of wands we have the four of cups so um, Gemini uh, you may have some people trying to reach out trying to communicate with you like trying to like um, resurrect a relationship whether friend family romance business you know connection it's just some of you, it's like there's somebody trying to resurrect as well. And I just think like you're over it. Like anybody trying to come back into your world this week, um, I don't think like it's a good idea. Like if they really hurt you and screwed you over in the past, spirits like you need to block them out. Don't show them your heart. Don't give them your heart. You know, you need to block them out because they're still immature and it will be the same thing as it was before, okay? So if this is where, you know, somebody's trying to come back into your reality that really screwed you over and hurt you in the past, you know, it's the same old thing over again. And um, also, you, many of you are going to see that person getting the return of their own energy, you know, what they did to you, what they put you through. Um, again, your guys' energy is very sensitive and you kind of have this magic touch this week so again really focus your intentions and your emotions and with the two of swords it's like don't focus on the negative and what's happened it's like you need to focus on the positive and the love when it comes to you and don't worry about anybody else it's like this week needs to be about you you have this magical touch which means you're a very powerful manifester so highly important that you keep your thoughts and your emotions in a good balance you know because um, as you watch others receive their karma receive their energy back to them for what they've put out to the universe you know um, just you take notes of that because the universe doesn't distinguish between thoughts emotions and actions 
all is energy, okay? And the action is just the final manifestation of an emotion or thought, all right? So that's where you need to be focused this week is the thoughts and emotions that are playing out through you. And if people are just stressing you out or causing you to go to a low place, you're better off on your own this week and focusing on loving you and healing you because you've got some magic going on, Gemini. And um, advice is courage and acceptance okay yeah you know um anybody screw you over trying to come back in mm -mm. you did me dirty in the past and you're gonna do me dirty again i accept the past and i'm moving forward in my future and you're not a part of it you are not included um you know also those of you where this might be you're offering support to somebody near and dear to your heart that's going through all of this you know, um, they're, they're going to need a lot of courage and love and support to accept the truth about, um, you know, whoever's really hurt them. And, you know, Gemini, for some of you, it could have been that it took you a long time to have the emotional strength to accept the truth about somebody. But that's history now. Like, you are within yourself. You're very um, expanded, like... Man, I don't know what this is. I'm trying to... Because it's not to say that you're not normally intuitive, instinctual, all of those things. But it's something about this week, Gemini, where you're just on fire. Like, you just feel and sense everything exactly as it is and what's going on in other people and their intentions. And Spirit's like, don't focus on the negative this week. Focus on the positive because your vibes are especially strong. And it's going to come back to you really, really fast. And it's not a good thing, a bad thing, a punishment or a reward. It's just the return of your own energy. And you're going to see others, you know, who have been dishing some uh, negative energy out there, um, they're going to receive theirs back. All right. We have the elements, the, um, the elements of fire, air, earth, and water combined to create powerful, protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. Yeah, that's talking about this, you know, you needing space just because you're so sensitive, um, to, you know, all the energies around you this week and people's true intention and vibes that they're throwing your way. And so, you know, be in your own space, really protect your energy, Gemini, but also how it's talking about fire, air, earth, and water, that's talking about your magical power, like how you are just um, this intense ability to manifest this week, um, what you're putting out to the universe is going to come back to you like tenfold, Gemini, it's like everything is aligned for you all the like a, a perfect square with you know the four elements like a beautiful foundation like it's all aligned for you so let nobody throw you out of balance this week whatsoever spend time alone love on yourself um somebody trying to come back in that screwed you over no thanks you know it's just be the same thing over again so Gemini, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.